Hello all my sirs, mateys, and ladies out there. How's it going? It's Brad Wheel and also known as JimmyJ57, and today I'm making a video showing you sirs how you can use your Xbox One, and you can capture game footage and put it up on YouTube. Now, from what I've seen, this is a lot easier than the PS4 method people are using because they can't use their external capture cards where they gotta upload the clip to Facebook, then get it from there, and then put it into their editor and all that stuff. Now, I've found that if you're using the internal game capture on the Xbox, it is much easier than using the the one on the PS4 right now. Obviously, external capture cards are better, which is what I'm using here. But if you want to start YouTube and you're just going to use the internal capture card in the system, this is a really easy way you can do it. So let's get right into it. Now, first, what you want to do is if, if you're going to game capture, you can use two things to start your game capture. You can say the Xbox Snap Game DVR command, and that'll bring up a side menu. Or I'm just going to do it easier here because the Xbox Connect is still kind of wonky sometimes. So there, I snapped in a menu, and I can go to Game DVR down here. So it'll load up the Game DVR in the side menu here. And if you want to start a new clip, you click right here, and it'll start recording. So if you double tap the Xbox Home button, it'll bring you back into the game. And if you double tap Xbox Home button again, you can go back to controlling your Game DVR. So let's say I want to start the recording here. If I want to record something, so here we go. I'll just record a clip of gameplay. Now, unfortunately, like if you want to record stuff that already happened in the past you can also tell your xbox to xbox record that and it'll record the last 30 seconds like if you get a cool trick shot or something that works too but right here let's say i just record this small little clip maybe i'll shoot in the air whatever happens in this clip and i'll switch back over and i can now stop recording so it'll just do a little rendering thing and it says there we go my clips have been saved now what you want to do here is you can quit your game of ghosts or whatever you guys are playing and what you're going to want to do is go into a program called upload studio now this is free you can get it off the app store like the uh, xbox store and this is what you're going to want to be using to edit your clips now this program is really really good because it can do a whole bunch of different stuff now let me just unsnap this from the side here just so you get the full screen view so what this can do is it can record from your game DVR and your Kinect. You can record yourself for like a face cam kind of thing. You can also trim and add skins to clips so you can add different hues, that kind of stuff. And you can also upload to Xbox Live, uh, the Xbox Live page, or you can upload to your SkyDrive. So that's what's really key right here. So the, here's all the different options you have. You can put multiple clips together. You can do bookend. You can do picture in picture, or you can just trim. So we'll go to just trim for now for this example. And you can do whatever you want. Right here, I'm just going to choose game DVR clips. We got one clip here, 21 seconds. Just me running around. There we go. You can see it previewing on screen there. So I'll select this clip. Happened today. Now, there are very many different options you can choose here so you can actually record a voiceover to the clip like I'm doing now if you want to do a commentary over top of your gameplay this is where you can do it and you can use your Xbox mic or you can use the Kinect mic which I'd, I'd use the chat headset if I were you because the Kinect mic isn't the best and you can also choose skins for it so if you want to go in and choose different skins slam chevron embers just make the game clip look a little cooler if you're going for that kind of thing but if, if you're just doing normal clip, you can finish, and this is the easiest way you want to do it. So you can name your clip here, you can put a tag, epic fail, epic moment, review, all that kind of stuff. So I'll just put epic fail, whatever. And this is the easiest part right here. So you click upload, and you want to upload and save to SkyDrive. Now this is the key thing right here. So it'll do a little rendering right on the side there. It'll do an uploading, and it is pretty fast. It's pretty um, good at this. Like, it doesn't do it too slow. And once you get this uploaded, here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to flip over to your computer and go on the SkyDrive using your Xbox account. You just type in like Microsoft SkyDrive on Google and you'll find the SkyDrive page. And once you log in on here, here's what you got to do. All right, now once your clip has successfully rendered in uploaded to the SkyDrive, you can actually go on your computer and open the SkyDrive page in your browser. So if you just want to type in Microsoft SkyDrive, that's how you find it real easy. And sign in with your Xbox account. And what you'll see here is you'll have like a pictures folder. If you have anything else on your SkyDrive, you'll see that too. But right here, I just have a pictures folder. I go in here, Xbox Game DVR. Now I can easily click on this DVR and here's my clip right here. And to get it onto your computer, all you gotta do is click play on the clip and it'll load up your clip right here. And right up in the top left corner, there is a download button. So you're going to want to click on that and it'll open up this normal page, the save as page, and you can name this whatever you want, like cool, cool trick shot 
clip or whatever you want and you can save this to your computer and then you have your clip on your computer now you can just throw that into any editor you have Sony Vegas or like iMovie if you're on Mac whatever you have you can throw this clip into your editor edit as much as you want and then you can upload it to YouTube normally so that is how you get clips from the Xbox one successfully onto your computer and edit them without using a capture card like an external capture card like an Elgato easy cap Roxio all those different capture cards so this is an easy way for someone to start YouTube if you're looking to start YouTube right now you can use this method and start up on YouTube by just getting clips on your computer and voicing over them you can do that straight from your Xbox or in your editor or if you're making montages you can easily gather little clips and upload them to your computer and put them all together so this is a great way they are uh, helping the YouTube community out with the Xbox and the PS4 both next gen consoles are doing this so I hope you guys like this video leave a like comment and subscribe down below if you have not already and as always sirs have a good day.